Molly Stark Sanitarium. Sanitarium or sanatorium? Sanitarium, sanatorium. Sanatorium, territory. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. <clears throat> Very impressive place. This place is impressive. Very. Yeah. place has been abandoned for 26 years. Opened up in the 1920s and closed down as being used for a tuberculosis hospital around the, the uh, 70s. Had a few mixed purpose uses up until its closure in 1995 has been sitting abandoned here for 26 years now. This place is actually now part of the county parks. You're allowed to walk around the grounds of the building, but you just cannot go past the fence. Very, very impressive structure indeed. This is out in Stark County, Ohio, near Canton, Ohio. Old tuberculosis hospital. Uh, the fate of the building is not really known. It's kind of been in limbo for the past 26 years. There have been different plans to renovate and fix the interior up. There's a lot of asbestos inside of the building. But nothing really has come to fruition within the past 26 years. So it just sits here abandoned. Out here in the fields of rural Ohio. That's ironic because where we were at the sanit the sanatorium in Creston, right. Lawrence Frick, you have that constant breeze. Yeah, you have that here too. Yeah, which was the whole Ohio design Ohio. right and that was the whole original design was for the constant flow of fresh air to help with the patients with the tuberculosis right i don't care this place is huge I mean, it's, it is yeah I would love it's impressive to, it is I very would impressive i'll probably get in here yeah probably yeah, how many stories this building got to tell? Oh, absolutely. How many deaths came through this building? Yeah, this is part of the Stark County Parks now. And you're actually allowed to come out here and walk the grounds from daylight until 11 p.m. Um, today they have Two uh, law enforcement vehicles here whenever we pulled in, but we were here just to film the location. Just for the whole uh, spooky aspect of the place. Very, very cool looking place. And I can see why they have this fence up around here because I'm sure it's a very dangerous inside of there. You can tell we're right here around just before sunset and you can see that there's almost no light at all inside of the building. You can see how shadowy it is inside of there. Architecture is amazing though.
this is quite a ways for us. We about an hour and a half drive for us from where we live. We've been wanting to make this trip out here for a while. The sun's just going down here now. This is the Molly Stark Sanatorium. We've got uh, Stephen and Frank over there. Stephen's doing a video for the main channel, Three Souls. And I'm going to venture back to the Jeep, grab the drone, and see if I can get the drone up in the air before the sun goes down. Get some cool aerial shots from the perimeter. Uh, it's sad to say, but this place is probably going to meet the wrecking ball someday here. Just a matter of time. Uh, it's pretty much too far gone to rehabilitate. I'm glad to finally make it out here. To document it before it's gone. You actually have the uh, law enforcement is inside now. And this place has a really, really well-known track history of trespassers going in and breaking in to explore the building. Various sections of fence that they have repaired where people have actually cut the fence to gain access. I'm just hoping someday they're able to allow the public in here to at least do some tours. And if they ever do, we will be back to document that as well. I mean, look at the architecture there. This was designed to basically put patients suffering from tuberculosis, give them a sense of comfort as they recovered. Which is why they had all these big archways to allow fresh air to constantly flow through the various rooms of the structure here. It is nighttime. Yeah. I want to get a cool video of the upper uh, those porticos up there. That's actually going to show up. All right, we're heading down to the children's ward. It's such a cool location. Fascinating, fascinating location indeed. Well, this, is this here is the it's children's ward. It's a shame to think that that, that tuberculosis afflicted people of all ages. I see a big giant spider web right here. Watch a Netflix on your phone. No, it come off. <laughs> and unfortunately, that, what's up? Big spider web? No. What? what? I swear I felt something touch my back, dude. You serious? Yeah. Like right Did there where the, right where the emblem back? is. Right where the emblem is. Like somebody like touched it. Did you touch Frank's back? Are you a kid? Was you trying to see what it looked like? You can touch it again if you want to. That, that yeah. freaked him out a little bit. I mean... Something happened, he was startled. And... Try that again, please. Oh. Around the 
from the children's ward here at Molly Frick Sanit Sanatorium. Once again, this is considered a county park, which is why we're able to come out here and roam around. You are able to come out here and walk the grounds. You're just not allowed inside of the buildings, which I think is really cool if you think about it. Just, you know, having the opportunity just to walk around the grounds here is a lot more than most places have. Is there any children's spirits on these grounds that like to play? Sorry, you were sick here, and this is where they kept you at. 